I have a wallet problem. And by wallet problem, I mean, in the best possible way, I have too many wallets to choose from. Uh, it is amazing the selection and variety that you get from wallets these days. So many of you liked my grandfather's World War II EDC video and uh, really, really thankful for that. But I have a wallet of my grandfather's that he used for 50 years. Uh, it was the same wallet that he probably got as a young man and used it all the way up until 78 years old. Here's the question, are we spoiled by EDC gear? That's probably a whole nother video in and of itself. But I think, and I look at wallets, and I've been struggling with this video for, for quite a while. I've been writing and rewriting it for quite a while, and I've been wondering that question. Are we just spoiled with our selection and the overabundance of choice that we have? I think we are, and I think that's part of the problem. What I'm hoping for this video to accomplish for you is for you to narrow down your choices in wallets without having to go through what I went through with probably two dozen wallets in the past five years or so. I've carried just about every style, every kind of wallet that you can imagine, and I'm gonna go over some of those here in the video. Maybe this video will save you just a little bit of time, money, and energy. First, I wanna tell you about which wallets didn't work for me and why, and they may work for you. And again, sound off in the comments. But at the end of the video, I'm gonna go over three of my top, my top three wallets that I'm kind of doing in rotation right now and why I like them the best. So let's go. If you love knives, flashlights, bags, pouches, all EDC gear and everything in between, make sure you're subscribed because why not? It costs you nothing and it really helps us out. And don't forget to make the algorithm happy by hitting that like button as well. We appreciate it in advance. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so you can see here, I've got quite a few wallets here. So let's just get all of these out of the way and just start to talk about a couple of different ones. The first wallet that, a set of wallets that I really wanna talk about are your hard case wallets. And um, I've got a few here, one from Bell Roy and one from Miradine, Mir Miradon, Miradine. Um, this one was sent to me for free and I do not like it. It is not a very good quality wallet, but it is a very strict, if you can check this out right here, I got some example cards. Here's three cards and they do slide in. It's kind of a neat little metal structure, but this would be your hard case wallets. And I cannot, I, I just can't do hard case wallets. I really want to be a hard case wallet person. They've just never worked for me. Uh, these are kind of fall into the category of your Groove Life or your extra wallets. Um, these right here, this is the Bellroy flip case. And I really like the Bellroy flip case. It's actually really good. I did a review on it probably two, three years ago at this point. It was one of my first YouTube videos on the channel. But at the same time, I just can't really do it. They sit really strangely in the pockets. They tend to turn the other direction. Um, they just don't work for me. I carry my wallet in my back pocket, my back right pocket. I think most of you probably carry your wallet in your back pocket as well. Uh, and something rigid, even small back there, just doesn't work for me. And these are not gonna work for me. If these don't work for me, I would imagine that something like the Dango wallets or the Exter wallets would not work for me either. And I really wish it did because I really like the style of these wallets. Another style that I've tried extensively is the pouch style wallet. Now, you can argue with me a little bit and say, now these pouches are not made to be, they're, they're, not, they're not made to be wallets. Um, I actually have a bunch of these little Topo bags, as you can see. They're excellent little pouch bags for, you know, little USB deals. Uh, SD cards and whatnot, you know, little USB things. You can actually tuck those away. You can actually tuck those away in there. These are perfect to put inside of larger uh, pouches or bags uh, to have some small items in. And as a wallet, um, they worked. In fact, I carried this this one right here, this exact one right here, for I don't know six months, and it's really worn in. The the zippers quick. Uh, there's plenty of room, you know, if you take all these cards right here, there's plenty of room for the cards. It's not hard to get in and out. Uh, some of these, like the Alpaca, uh, this is the Alpaca Zip Wallet, or I can't remember the name of it. 
an X-Pack, and it's got a really nice little organizational feature in here, and I love this wallet. Uh, and it's actually meant to be kind of an EDC wallet. You've got a little pockets out here to put knives and such in. But at the same time, uh, it's not really quick for cards. And I like something, I like a quick wallet. And so if you put some wallets in here, they're not incredibly hard to get out, but if you've got more, if you've got, you know, probably 10 cards, eight cards, something like that, um, I found that it's just a little bit difficult to get them out. Plus, the waterproof zipper is nice and worn in on this because I, I did use this wallet for a little while. Um, but I found that I couldn't really use this as a wallet if I wanted to put things in the sides here as, uh, you know, like a pin or a knife right here or a knife up front right here. Uh, it was just too bulky in my pocket. And um, this is something that you would do to carry like a minimal, do like a minimal EDC carry with this. You would might would put your stuff up here, receipts up here. You have a nice little clever divider in here for bills and cash, but also for cards over here. And then you could fit maybe a pocket knife or a pen or something like that inside here. I like this. I just don't like it as a wallet. I like it as an EDC uh, all-inclusive kind of minimal EDC type of thing. But again, if you disagree with me and you love Alpaca stuff, in fact, Alpaca has a wide variety of great things, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, along that list are something like the Data Crew Small Fry uh, and the, I don't, it's not going to be pictured here, but the Garage Built Gear Tchotchke Wallet. Um, these have one zipper on the front. You've got a gray interior. And the zipper is tiny, and that's fine as long as it's not hard to open. Because if it's hard to open, then we're going to run into trouble. This has got some uh, Velcro on it, hook and loop, of course. And that's great, but I don't want to put patches on this necessarily if it's going to be sliding in and out of my pocket. I just, I just can't do it. I need something relatively smooth. And so pouch wallets like these are not going to really work for me, even though I tried to make them work for me for a while. They're just not going to work for me. Some of these like this, the top of designs, I love the high vis interior there, but there's going to be next to no organization other than the order that you put stuff in. And I found that I have found I'm a little, um, and again, I use this term very lightly. I am not OCD, but I found that I'm a little OCD about where my cards are at so that I almost don't even have to look when I'm fetching out a card as well. That's a little crazy of me, I know, but the two I really liked, and I did a Tiny Tools EDC on these Lewis and Clark wallets. These things are like 12 bucks. Uh, they're excellent. Uh, the only problem is, is they're about half an inch too short. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So let me grab some of these cards, and you'll see these are regular size, you know, cards, but you have to kind of push them in and just like get them to fit. And they, there's a really snug fit. You might like that. I don't because I'm getting cards in and out uh, all the time. Where I live, Apple Pay is not universal. So if you live in a city and you're not getting your cards out nearly as much and you're using your phone, this may be something that you could look into. This is an RFID protected uh, wallet. It's got that cool little clip. This is meant to be a belt clip, but you could use it to clip onto some gear or clip onto the inside or outside of your pocket. It's almost like a deep carry clip. But I love these little wallets. These are these little Lewis and Clark wallets. It's just not for me as a daily driver wallet. Now I do have a conventional wallet and I'm calling a conventional wallet a bifold or a trifold. And I'm not gonna say a whole lot about these because I've got this exact wallet on my top three list. It's actually number three on my list, so spoiler alert for that. But this is an Alet conventional wallet. It's just one of your conventional style wallets. As you can see, this is really thin though. And I love this wallet. This is why it's made my top three. And I'll show it to you here in a little bit. But conventional wallets for the most part, here's an example of one that I carried for a while. This is a Swiss gear, just some kind of cheap $15 uh, wallet that I got at, I believe it was Target. And it's got one of these license holders and everything. You can see how long I carried it. I carried it for quite a while, while here because it's good and broken in. And this was a good wallet for a while. This is a nice little card bifold wallet. But again, just too thick for me. I know that doesn't look very thick, but when you get stuff in this, it's a little bit thicker. And so conventional wallets really uh, don't work for me. Conventional bifolds and trifolds, they tend to be too thick. Um, you've all seen the guy with the wallet that pulls the 
the wallet out that's that's like you know super duper thick he's got stuff stuffed all in there and I'm not going to hassle any of you guys about that if you've got a wallet like that. But at the same time, I can't do that. I just cannot do the thick wallet lifestyle. My main argument about conventional wallets against conventional wallets is that there's just better products out there and more conventional wallets than, than just conventional wallets, in my opinion. So a subcategory of wallets that I've been trying out recently has been uh, the Zip wallets. I really wanted these to work for me. And they just don't. I don't know if I'm being too picky. I don't know if I'm being ridiculous or what. I probably am. Tell me in the comments if you're if I'm being ridiculous. Just let's just sound off. Tell me how ridiculous I am. But these are super nice, high quality wallets, and they're zip wallets from Bellroy. I tended to like this one a little bit better. I like the look of the leather. I like how it breaks in a little bit better. And as you can see, I carried this one for a little while. It's got room for a SIM card slot. It's got two slots over here uh, for a for cards, but what I noticed about this, and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So when I got this wallet, it's so tiny that yeah, it fits some cards in here. In fact, you can fit a couple of cards in here, but to get these out, you have to kind of, like you you can pull them out, but most of the time, it's just easier if you flip the, the zipper back on itself and I don't like that at all. I really love this zipper though. It was nice and quick. This I love the design of, but I wish this one right here, this is the card pocket and the card sleeve. I can't remember which one is which, but I'll put it here on the screen. Um, this one right here, I wish this zipper was on this one right here because the zipper, see, it's just, it's just tough. It's a water, now granted, this is a waterproof zipper. It's It's got one of those things, you probably dunk this in water and it would be fine. But there again, it's just the zipper is so difficult to get in and out of. And I thought, I, I've carried this one right here for the last probably three months or so. And I just did not, it did not, the zipper just did not break in like I thought it would. And so if you can see here, you've got these real, I mean, just a super nice interior here um, with the Bellroy branding and these stretchy pockets. You can fit like up to 10 cards in here. And so I don't have to peel the, I don't have to peel the zippers back when I want to get a card. They just come out really nicely. So they kind of refined on this style right here. But again, I would love to see this zipper on this palette. It, that might be a wallet that I, that I could go for, that I could regularly use. But again, it's just, and it's right there that it gets, I don't know. If you have any tips for kind of lubricating zippers, I, I've heard that zippers are supposed to be self lubricating. So I don't know exactly about that or not. But you open this, you kind of have to open it the whole way. You can't just kind of open it to the top. Well, you, I guess you could kind of do that that way. You could just halfway open it. But I really, I love the design of this and I love the size. You can see it here with the uh, Alet wallet and kind of compare it to the Alpaca. And so that's a relatively compact size and I keep it in this upper pocket in my jeans all the time. But again, just zip wallets really did not work for me. Now, one that I do want to try out is the uh, Reform Coin Sleeve Wallet. That looks intriguing, and I want to try one of those out. The last category that I want to talk about that did not work for me and that I'm pretty sad about is kind of your super minimalist wallet. This is the Magpul uh, card sleeve, and it is made of this awesome, you know, Magpul has that really cool plasticky uh, feeling on it. Uh, as well as the well-known Herschel wallets as well. You've got a little thing in the center here to where you can put receipts in there. And you've got card slots for four cards. I carried this one around with me for quite a long time. And it was wonderful. It's just that it didn't have enough. I, I constantly was changing out cards. It just didn't have enough card storage for me. And it did not store cash for me as well. I would have to fold it multiple times and I couldn't couldn't fit a lot in there. This is actually my dad's. This is just a, a relatively old um, hand-stained hide. It's a Bosca, apparently. And this was actually my dad's wallet. And this is just one of those little card sleeves. But again, I you, you just can't fit enough cards in these. And so as much as I would love to have these ultra minimalist wallets, usually they don't fit enough cards. And, uh, and in the case with the DACA wallet, I believe this is the DACA wallet by Magpul. 
Uh, love the design, love the feel. I mean, you can really just absolutely punish this thing and it's not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna tear or anything. It's rip proof and all that stuff. And they probably got, this is an old version, they probably got new designs of these that are different, so I probably need to check those out. But at the same time, it's uh, difficult because you only can fit really three to four cards in here. And this one, no cash, no cash whatsoever. This one, not really cash. I mean, I'm put it in there or I'm put it in one of these sleeves, but, but not really cash. So I tend to use these as like um, business card holders for cards that I seldom if rarely use, and I'll keep them in my car or something like that to use cards that I'm rarely using or seldom using. Okay, so here's my top three wallets. I think I'm using uh, all of these right now in various different uh, situations, traveling and such. And number three, we'll do three, two, one, ranking them. This is the Alet Sport Wallet. This is minimalist. It's no frills. It's got this nice structure here. You've got uh, some card stuff, some card stop material. You've got rubber. If you can see that, you've got little rubber things here that stop your cards from sliding out because this material looks like that your cards will just slide right out and they absolutely do not do that. So what you've got here obviously is you can put cards in the side. You can even put one card in there. I'm just going to demonstrate it with one card and uh, they're not going to fall out. It's really nice to be able to see my scientific shake test here. They just don't really move unless they're supposed to. When you pull them out, they have just a tad bit of resistance and it's because of those, again, those little rubber stoppers there on the inside that are it's just a really fantastic wallet. They still sell this exact wallet. I've had this one for years. Uh, as a bonus, they tell you that um, you've got a built-in AirPods holder. Did you know that? No, I'm just kidding. You don't have a built-in AirPods holder. Uh, that was a joke, by the way. Send off in the comments. Tell me how stupid I am. But they actually do have two tiny little sleeves right here. You can put a, a tiny pin here. They sell a pin that comes with the wallet. They sell that in a bundle. And again, I've owned this wallet for, for years now, and I've really loved it. You've got some, so the way, if you can do a size comparison here, the way that cash fits in here as well, you can fit cash full size like that as so if I'm ever using cash and I know we've become less and less cash society I tend to try to use cash in some uh, situations and so it's important for me to have the ability to have cash uh, on my person sometimes and so what you've got here is the ability to have that you can fit up to three cards on each side and um, you can fit a bunch of bills back here. So I've got just a couple of bills. There's no pockets inside of here. There's no kind of organization inside of here. Uh, it's just a really good, nice, thin, uh, thought, thought out wallet. Very nice. This leather has aged perfectly. And again, with a bifold or a trifold, regular traditional wallet like this, you're going to get a little bit of um, misshapen stuff. It's just, it's kind of interesting. But, um, this measures about 3.125 by 3.75, and it's only a quarter of an inch thick, and I assume that's unloaded with cars, cards, excuse me. But this is the Alet Sport Wallet, big fan. Uh, when I want a traditional wallet, or I'm wearing dress pants or something like that, I tend to switch out my cards to this wallet right here. Number two on the list is the Distill Union Wally Micro. And I'll tell you what, this is one of those, I made fun of the minimalist wallets. I made fun of those. I said I couldn't do those. This is absolutely a minimalist wallet uh, at heart. This is actually my cards right here. I'm actually using this wallet right now, and I have been using this wallet. You can see that it's a little bit broken in as well. And you can see there's a little thing right here, a little tab. And what you can do is you can just pull that out, and voila, there's your cards. They can come up out of the thing. They come up a little bit further, but I'm going to load this here with my, my white cards here just a second. Okay, so the reason, this is really a simple design here. You've got this strap, then you've got a all grain, full grain leather kind of enclosure. It's just kind of a flap that goes around on itself. And then you've got this rubber band feature right here. 
that's uh, useful for putting little receipts and things in if you really need to. But I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards right here. They say they can, this can hold up to 10 cards. I have put way more than 10 cards in this thing. I've probably put 14, 15 cards in this. And you can see how nice and minimalist it is. And oh, by the way, that little nylon strap there, it comes out and goes back in automatically. Let's try that again. It comes back in and goes back in automatically when you push your cards back down in it. So you don't have to pull the flap down, even though I find myself doing that with this wallet. I pull the flap down to get that uh, that first card out of the wallet because I'm usually using that first card anyway. I tend to put cards through the back that I don't use very much, but it's really nice to be able to just pull those out, have all those cards and say, okay, I need to pick this one. There it is. Bada bing, bada boom. All done. And it's just so nice, so minimalist, so small. And this is the Distill Union Wally Micro, my current carry wallet. But I'm not done. It has a surprise up its sleeve. So if you take this right here, this little rubber band thing out here, take all your cards out, you can actually reverse this. You can actually reverse this to have a brown wallet and they sell these two tones in a lot of different colors and a lot of different styles. I love the black, but you can actually reverse this and it has the Distill Union logo there. Uh, just make sure that you check this out. But to me, this is just cool. It's a very simple design and uh, this is my current carry wallet. I don't think I'm going to be changing uh, very much anytime soon. All right, and my number one wallet here is the Distill Union Wally Bifold 5.0. And um, there's four colors of this wallet. Uh, I have been carrying it. This is, this is what would happen if the Bifold wallet was kind of reinvented. I have really enjoyed carrying this wallet. In fact, I have carried it a lot more. Uh, now that I've gotten this one, I've carried it a lot more. I've carried it a lot more than the Alet wallet just because it has much more functionality built into it. And you've got a lot of stuff going on here. So let's just kind of get started. You've got wallet and it is magnetic. First of all, it's magnetic. I love it. It's thin. That's got to be a thing for me. It's relatively small, obviously, but not as small as the Wally Micro. Uh, it's about twice the size, but you're still gonna, it's still gonna be a regular, quote unquote, regular size wallet. And what you've got here is you've got magnetic closure, obviously. You've got quick access to your most used cards. So you've got most used cards right here. You can put them in right here. And then you've got another card slot for other cards that has the same ribbon enclosure. So if you've got this ribbon right here that you can pull out, so I'll put two cards on each side and you can fit more than two cards on each side, but you tuck those in and then the flap actually goes back magnetically. These close magnetically as well. And so you've got room for cards right there. I'm going to take three cards and put them in on the other side. So a total of seven cards in this right now. And what I need to do, if I need to get access to those cards, obviously, if I just pull them out right like so. And this is going to close up pretty well with magnets. I'm going to push it back in there and the strap holding them in. It actually comes back really, really nicely. And you've got a pretty awesome little package here just with that. However, this is a coated stainless steel money clip here on the inside. And I'll give you a little bit more detail on that. And you can actually just get these out, flip through your bills really quickly, uh, and you close it and it stays all in the same place. It gets a little thick uh, when you put cards and different things in there. But normally I have only two cards in these upper slots. And again, magnetic closure. So satisfying. And I've only got one card in each of these quick access. So I keep an ID right here and my most used debit card right here. And then some other card, two more cards back here. So if I was to take out one card right here, this would be my loadout for this wallet. Again, still super thin, uh, even thinner than something like the uh, the Bellroy zip case here. But what you've got here is a full package with the Wally Micro here. You can open it up, get access to your cash, your cards, all sorts of different stuff. It's about three inches tall, about 4.4 inches wide. 
And the website says that you can carry 14 cards in this wallet, and I don't doubt it. Uh, have not tested that, but I do not doubt it. And it also says that you can carry up to 30 bills, and I would believe that with this clip because this clip is pretty robust. And so you've got a really nice thick clip. You could put however many bills you really wanted to on there. So this is kind of an, my all around jack of all trades wallet. And when I know I'm traveling or I'm going somewhere, I'm gonna need to put different cards in different places, put receipts and cash in here as well. This wallet wins my best overall. And this is what I've been doing. So my top three wallets there again, the ones that I have been rotating in and out Usually between these two, Distill Union has really stepped up their game, and I love the Wally Micro for just around the town kind of stuff, but when I'm traveling, which is pretty often these days, I'm usually carrying that Distill Union Bifold 5.0. Sign off in the comments. That's all that we're going to talk about today. Thank you so much for suffering through this wallet episode with me. It's been a long time coming, and again, I thank you in advance for your thoughts and your comments. Uh, on this video, please give me your thoughts and comments on the video. And as always, like and subscribe, help out the channel. Uh, the links that I put in the description below do help out the channel, so I really appreciate that very much. And also, I do want to say at the end here that Distill Union did send me these. They sent them about four months ago, though. So I have really put these to the test, and I have found that these are just outstanding little wallets. And um, you will not be sorry uh, that you picked one of these up. So thank you so much to them, and thank you so much for watching. You guys go out and have a great week.